Sorry, I just have to rush it, uh, this presentation a little fast because uh, my time has just been cut uh, from uh, 15 minutes to 7 minutes, so I will try to do the best I can. It is my great privilege to be here among these number of industry friends uh, to present the Lonza Group. As you know, the Lonza is a leading supplier for the life sciences industries. We are a Swiss-based company. We are headquartered in Basel. Our uh, group turnover is uh, 2.6 billion Swiss francs. We have a global operations in 28 production sites and the R&D sites. We employ a very strong team of 8,200 employees. Our focus is very much, we are the global leader in custom manufacturing. We are very well recognized for custom manufacturing for the innovator companies. In the area of a small molecule active uh, ingredient, the APIs, both in the chemical as well as in biological platforms. We have expanded now into the cell therapy, which is the future of the cure, which we believe. We are the leading positions in number of uh, bio the sciences like endotoxins, cell-based disease products, nutraceutical products like L-carnitin and DHA, and also the biocide for microbial controls. Our portfolio is almost about 90% in life sciences. As uh, you can see, we are basically organized in the three different verticals, the custom manufacturing, biosciences, as well as life sciences ingredient. You will hear subsequently one of our, my colleague, uh, Lucas Otiga, who will present, who runs the biosciences division, who will present globally the biosciences activities. Our major focus, we are extremely focused on the seven markets, the bio research, the nutraceuticals, pharma and biotech, microbial controls, the agrochemicals, one of the, some of the actives in the agrochemicals, the material sciences, and the personal care. Just to go, go through some history very quickly, Lonja is a quite old company, 100 plus years old. We started in the valley in Switzerland, for where the valley has to be a, a valley, happened to be a very rich in calcium carbide. That is where basically carbide, we, we basically started with generating the electricity and the chemicals, moved on to the expansion in the U.S. with the subsidiary of the opening and U.S. subsidiary. Subsequently, we became a very large producer of niacin and niacinamide. We moved on to the biotechnology, which we felt we were the early mover in the biotechnology space. In 1983, Subsequently, we were the first to leave it to Lonza. We basically approached the drug companies at the time that basically go down to the core competence. Lonza has a core competence in chemical and chemical development, and they should focus on the discovery research. And that is where we built a multipurpose plant in WISP, and that plant becomes a very flexible plant to produce active pharmaceutical ingredient for many of the innovator companies. Subsequently, we move into biotransformations. We acquire a biotech plant in Kojim, which becomes, Dr. Baral just has said, the launcher social responsibility in the HIV. We have been involved in the HIV with the innovative firms, and Dr. Cl Dr. Baral had just mentioned about the Clinton Foundation. Lonja was the first to be brought up by supplying the Jaduvidine, the very key intermediate of Jaduvidine, the thymidine. We basically bring down the price of Jaduvidine, which is now somewhere in the 250 to 280 range, which used to be at the 600 to 700 range. So thank you very, very much for all your efforts. Uh, we basically went into biologics by the acquisition of Celtech. Subsequently, we basically built it. We also went into highly active potent compound where we are bridging both the biologics the, as well as the small molecules. In 2004, we built a huge manufacturing plant uh, uh, in biotechnology and microbial fermentation. 
in Portsmouth, Portsmouth with was our flagship plant for, bio, uh, for biotechnology. That is where we basically make the recombinant proteins as well as monoclonal antibodies. Moving on, we basically build a large manufacturing plant in niacinamide in China. Our focus so far has been that we are, we, our expansion in Asia has been very big in China. China is a chemical platform as well as in Singapore in the biotechnology platform. Moving on, we basically, as you see in the biotechnology, uh, we basically have uh, built the plant for the Genentech, and we have a, and Genentech, and we acquired the plant in Perino in Spain for making life cycle management, how to, we are very focused into life cycle management for uh, the biopharmaceutical products. As the many of you may know that we basically acquired the bioproduct business of Cambrix, and from there we, with this acquisition, we, we basically entered the India, and Cambrix already have an India operations. That basically operation ultimately turned into the Longa India operations. In 2008, we are, as Dr. Barar has said, the drug discovery is going to be the future platform in India, and I truly believe in it. And going forward, into we are basically working into the drug discovery space, and that is where you will hear a little bit more about that, what Lonja is doing in the bios, biosciences division, and that division is very much involved into the drug discovery space. We, in 2009, was a very important year when we basically had a joint venture with Teva. This joint venture is in selective molecules into the into biosimilar space, biosimilars and maybe the biobetters space. And this joint venture, the 50-50 joint venture with Teva, going forward, we have uh, now, as you have seen, today we have been inaugurated for the Genome Valley in the Lonja Knowledge Center. That is where Lonja will be moving in. As you can see, that this is our entry into uh, Hyderabad is going to become a focus of Lonja. Lonja will be moving our headquarters from Mumbai to Hyderabad and consolidating most of our activity, operation activity, with the start of the R&D Center in Genome Valley. Just about a one slide about the Lonja in India, 2007, as you have seen, we established our headquarters in uh, Mumbai. We made a very small acquisition of Symbiosis in 2009. We acquired about 27 acres of land in Genome Valley cluster. 2011 to 2012, we are going to build the Knowledge Center. There will be a three-level facility which will basically be about 80,000 square feet, which will be a lead gold a certified facility which probably will come in operation in about 2012. Lunda will be in the first phase making an investment close to about 12 million Swiss francs. As I said, the Lunda operations will be moving as well as to Hyderabad. This is the facade, if you can see, of the R&D center which we are planning on building. Now let me give you a privilege of uh, introducing your next speaker, my colleague uh, uh, Lucas Utiga. Lucas is a member of the management committee of Lonza. He was born in Switzerland. He's a chemical engineer by training from Zurich. Did his PhD from London. He has a different, different uh, rising positions within Lonza for quite some time. He started in the process development group moved on to the, in the R&D, and then he headed the R&D of Lonja Exclusive Synthesis. Then he headed up the, the Lonja Exclusive Synthesis Division. He became a Chief Operating of, Officer of Lonja Exclusive Synthesis. Subsequently, he ran a, the, the Lonja Science Ingredient, another business, business sector of Lonja, 